Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at shooting video on the iPhone 4. This episode specifically, we're going to take a look at editing the video directly on the iPhone 4. Now, when the iPhone 4 launched, one of the other things that launched around the same time was iMovie, which is an application that people are familiar with from the Macintosh computers, but it's now available on the iPhone. To get the iMovie app, first go to the App Store icon on your iPhone and search for iMovie. Again, it's $4.99 to purchase it, so you'll want to click on Buy. Once it's installed, you launch it by going to the iMovie application icon and tapping it. First, you'll be asked to select your iMovie theme. You'll have a choice between modern, bright, travel, playful, and news. You also have the ability to turn on or off theme music. Select the theme you want and click Done. Next, you'll want to add your media or the video that you want to edit. Tap on the icon with the downward facing arrow to insert your media. This will take you to your library and you have three choices, video, photos, and audio. We'll stick with video because that's what we want to edit. Select the video you want to edit and it'll be put into the timeline at the bottom of your screen. On the far right hand side of the timeline you'll see a length of the clip that you've selected. To edit the length of the clip, tap on the clip at the bottom and you'll see handles appear in yellow. You can adjust the length of the clip by grabbing one of the yellow dots and moving it to the side. This will shorten the clip in the direction that you've indicated. You can also remove the clip by tapping it and dragging it up. That will remove it from the timeline altogether. At any point, you can add another item to the timeline by hitting the Insert Media icon and choosing your media, whether it's a still photograph or another video. It will then appear in the timeline. You'll also notice a transition icon placed between any items in your timeline. Double tap on the transition icon to bring up some options on how items will transition into each other. You can choose to cross dissolve, which is pretty standard, and choose the length of time between 0.5 and 2 seconds. You can choose no transition if you want hard cuts, or you can choose to dissolve using the theme that you've chosen at the beginning of the project. When you've chosen the dissolve that you'd like, press Done. Then when you play back your video, the transition you've chosen will determine how it looks when it moves from one clip to the other. At any point, if you want to add a new video to your project, but you haven't shot it yet, you can click the camera icon in the corner. This will take you into the camera application where you can shoot your video, and then when you're done shooting, it'll drop you back into the iMovie application and you can continue to edit. When you're done editing, click on the icon with a star on it to take you to your projects menu. From here, you can start a new project, or you can share the one that you currently have by clicking on the share icon in the bottom. It'll render out a final video based on the cuts and transitions that you've made, and store this in your camera roll inside your camera application. Now, if you prefer to edit your video on the computer itself as opposed to on the iPhone, you can do that too, and we'll show you how to do that in the next episode of this series. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series, and the show notes for this part and the other parts in this series at butterscotch.com.